Hi! So today I just wanted to show you some of the different fabrics and materials that you can use to create this hoop art here. So this is an ice cream design. Um, it's a PDF download on our website and you can actually get this pattern for free with all the instructions when you sign up to our mailing list. So if you go onto our website, sign up to our mailing list and you'll get sent a code which you can input on the checkout page um, when you've got this pattern in your basket. And that means it's completely free and then the pattern and the instructions will be emailed to you. I just thought it would be helpful for me to talk you through the different fabrics, the different materials um, that you would need to create this. So this is a four inch design. So the first thing that you're going to need is a four inch embroidery hoop. Um, it's up to you as to whether or not you actually want to mount it in the hoop like I've done here. Um, it could also look quite nice if you wanted to fray the edges and perhaps stick it on a greetings card or stick it on the front of a notebook or something like that. So you've got lots of options, but just bear that in mind when you're picking out your hoop um, if you are going to mount it in there. Then the next thing that you're going to need is the backing fabric. So you can see here that I've used um, this striped cotton um, and I've got that here to show you. So this was actually um, a remnant. Um, it was what was left over when I made some of my own clothes in this fabric. Um, you can actually see it's got some quite intense stripes. Um, so this is, this is very stripy here. So when I was picking out the bit I wanted to embroider on, I actually deliberately went to find a piece that's got um, slightly less stripes. So it kind of goes from this dense stripe to a, a lighter stripe. And I wanted that so it didn't feel like it was going to overpower the design. So you can see I have got a few of the thick stripes at the back, but I've not got loads of distraction in the background. Um, you could also use a plain cotton, um, or I was just looking out some other options for you. So this is a pink and white gingham, which I felt was quite summery. So that could also work quite nicely. Um, and I've got this other piece of cotton here, which is like, um, it's a pale beige. And then it's got some butterflies on, some printed white butterflies. So again, it's quite a subtle pattern, so it's not going to intrude on the design, um, but it gives it just a little bit more depth by having something um, patterned on the background. Okay, then the next piece of fabric that you're going to need is the felt for the cone. So you can see here, this is a pliqued. Um, it's a pliqued using trellis stitch. So you're going to want some beige felt. So this is the, the beige I've used here. Um, I've also used this to actually neaten the back of the hoop. So you can see I've stitched a circle, so that'll be a four inch circle, um, but actually the piece you need for the cone is quite small. So hopefully you can find that in some off cuts um, that you've got from some other sewing. Um, and then you're going to need a set of three threads, uh, three DMC stranded embroidery cottons. Um, and so the three that I've used are these three here. And so the first one that you need is this beige colour. Um, I've used shade 842, um, but actually you want something that contrasts with your uh, felt that you're using for the cone. So you want something that's a little bit darker so that when you stitch it, you can still see the stitching and it doesn't blend in completely. So um, use trellis stitch for that. There's a tutorial video um, on my YouTube channel as well for trellis stitch. Um, so you've got that there. You're then going to want um, a variegated thread for the ice cream itself. So I've used this pink and red. Um, this is shade 107 from DMC. Um, and I really like this. I felt it looked a bit like a strawberry ice cream. And by using a variegated thread, you get the different colors um, as you stitch, which I think is quite nice. So that's all in satin stitch. Um, the flake is also in satin stitch. And again, there are tutorial videos I can link you to. Um, I did also, just for an option, pull this one out as well. So this is shade number 90, um, which is a yellow and orange. So depending on what you like the look of, I actually thought that could look quite nice as well, like a kind of lemon or orange um, sorbet or ice cream. So that was another option that I found. Um, you're then going to want a brown for the flake. Um, so this is the brown I've used here. That is shade 300, um, but you could use any brown that looks like a nice chocolatey color. And so that's for your flake here. Um, and again, that's in satin stitch. And then the fun bit is the beads. Um, so I've put some long glass beads on here to look like sugar strands. So that set of beads I've got is here. And um, so you can see they're just kind of a mixture of colors. 
to look like sprinkles. You could also use round beads. So I've got a few different round beads here. Um, I've got some red and some blue. And then I've also got some green and some white and some purple. Ooh, try and hold those all up for you. Um, so I was just thinking all of those could make quite a nice mix to look like hundreds and thousands on top of your ice cream. So uh, have a bit of fun there, do whatever suits you. Um, and then uh, just kind of some basic points, but you'll need a pair of scissors to trim your threads. You'll need a couple of needles. So uh, you'll need an embroidery needle and you'll need an ordinary sewing needle. So I'll just hold those up for you as well. So the embroidery needle has a long eye. So uh, that's for your stranded thread. And then the sewing needle has a really tiny eye. Um, and so that's what you can use uh, to thread your beads onto your work. And then you're also going to want just some ordinary sewing cotton. Um, so that's for sewing your beads on. If you don't have any sewing cotton, you could just use one strand of the embroidery thread. So you cut a length of this um, and then if you peel off one strand uh, and put that into your sewing needle, you could also use that to put your beads on. Um, and so that's everything that you need. Um, I would love to see what designs you come up with, what materials you've used. So, so do share with us what you've done. Um, I can't wait to see them all.